Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your browsing history in incognito mode. It's pretty quick and easy. So let's jump right in. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps both in Safari as well as Google Chrome. So let's open up Safari here. And you can see I'm in private browsing because the search bar here at the very bottom is dark. And at the top, it says private browsing. However, it says after you close a tab, Safari will not remember the pages you visited, your search history, or autofill information. So the only way on here to see your history is to tap the two squares at the bottom, right? And you'll see it still shows various tabs that are open. So if I tap on one of these tabs that's already open, I'll be able to see exactly what was being looked at. So I have that as an option to basically go back and see the history. However, if I wanted to say, tap on the book icon at the bottom, right? You can see this history does not include anything that was viewed in private browsing. That's ultimately the point of it. It doesn't capture it in the history. So you have to see it in the tabs. Let's open up Google Chrome and I'll show you how it works in here. So let's tap the three dots at the bottom, right? And on here, let's tap new incognito tab. It says on here, Chrome won't save your browsing history, all of this stuff. But again, it's the same thing. So if we say go to google.com and we tap on the square at the bottom right with three, you'll be able to say, I can basically go to these different things. So these different incognito tabs, I'll be able to open it up and I'll be able to see exactly what that specific tab was looking at at this moment. But again, you can't go back in time because that is ultimately against what the incognito mode does. It doesn't save any of that history. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.